Hello animators, riggers, blender folks, welcome to Rigs of the Trade tutorial series. I'm Xenomes and in this tutorial we will address, yes, uh, once again spline IK bone constraint for facial rigging, because I've already made a tutorial on this matter previously, you can check here in the, in the notes. However, this time not only we will be making this for eyebrows, other time was for eye contour, but this time also I'll be using an automated trick, automated solution from Rigifiadon, which is a feature set. So that will be an extension of the Rigifiadon, so like an add-on inside an add-on. So if I go here on edit menu and preferences and check for add-ons and look for community, and put Rigify, actually Rigify is a community add-on. Uh, it comes with Blender, you just have to check it, like here. If we check here, there are feature sets which has this button and the list of the feature sets. So currently I have this feature set, Experimental Rigs by Alexander Gavrilov, which is the one that I found thanks to a CG Dive tutorial on Rigify series. You see there on the note. So the feature set need to be downloaded differently from the Rigify add-on and then installed from this button, install feature set from file. So it works and, and not from the common add-on install button. So if I click here on documentation, I'll go to the Blender manual website where I can find all the links for the feature sets available. I think all should be there. And if I click in repository, this will lead me to the website where the feature set is located, which is our GitHub website. I've already clicked on those links because my computer is slow. So here is the GitHub and here is Blender Manual 3.3. And if we check here, the link it gave us, it goes to add-ons, rigging and rigify. Also, you could check here uh, on rigify, if not here also the panels, add-ons, Rigging, Rigify, and in Rigify we need to look for extensions, which is feature sets. There are many features here, but the only one that interests us for this tutorial is Experimental Rigs by Alexander Gavrilov. Once here we might check if there are other versions, I think this is the master default version. View all branches, so updated two months ago, let's go back. And here in this button code, we just have to click download zip. And yes, I know it's not very intuitive. That's why I'm showing this step by step. And if we check the documentation on GitHub, there are some important information. We need to look for tentacle because it's the name of the rig type. Limp spline tentacle. There are some relevant information here but maybe not enough to solve every problem. We need to experiment a little, but it's important to check those things. Also, sometimes it's good to check issues. So there's apparently someone reported uh, an issue concerning spline IK tentacle regeneration error. Not so recent, but this is about regenerate control rig. So this is not the primary problem. Probably we won't have problem with that. So I go to my downloads folder. This is Linux, by the way, uh, pop OS. Here is my zip file for the add-on. Then I have a folder that I've made just to get the installable add-ons because when they get installed from the zip file they go to another folder so this is just a repository for installable add-ons i usually create some folder then i put this here but since i have already it installed i put it here i don't need that anymore because i i remake from this so i go preferences install feature but let's remove this feature actually remove yes install features then i need to look for my installation folder and then rigify feature sets here we go it's installed it is checked it is ready just a curiosity in linux i've learned that blender uh, usually installs it on a hidden folder in dot config and then blender 
and then 3.3 it's the version and scripts and add-ons folder and then here we go i think we should not mess with this thing unless we know what we are doing but this is where blender installs okay so let's go uh, it's already saved let's start with this eyebrows rig this eyebrows uh, just in case it's important the approach that I have here is that it's a mesh object, a separated mesh object from the rest of the character and it has a shrink wrap modifier which is slightly offset, this is probably some old setup, let's make it closer, then it has, of course it has the armature modifier first it has vertex groups I guess, yes it gets some vertex groups but this is this is these are old vertex groups so but it's still parented to the armature object then the shrink wrap modifier a subdivision surface and a solidify modifier i've made those settings because as it was deforming on the previous rig sometimes the eyebrow deforms in a, or disappears under the mesh so it had to be very thick shrink wrap modifier is sometimes a bit chaotic for here i will just hide the solidify modifier and i should not forget this value dot zero two but i'll give it zero so that i can have a better use of the snap tool and i could use the face nearest but for this case i'm more used to this one let's go to the armature go on edit mode i'm gonna use a new layer here so this one is not necessary closest maybe maybe I should give it at least this is enough for the tutorial so then no not pose mode so this is the first bone, it's good to have it a name, so this would be eyebrow left 001. I'll make sure that I'll get enough joints here. Because here I'm planning the splines already. How, uh, the amount of splines I, I'm having here just like bendy bone sets like this would be a spline I would have one control point here and another here so this is important so that I can have this tilt very expressive tilt for this cartoony styles and here the splines I could have a, a subdivision here yes yeah let, let's make a subdivision why not let's do it so here I would have another control point and here another intermediate control point and uh, by the end I could have a smaller spline but I don't feel like it's very necessary let's make something like that that, that should be good enough but then this is not getting the position that I want it's still not snapping as I wanted okay so yeah so there there's getting they are getting some strange positionings there not sure why those are maybe just yes this maybe just some illusion I'm having although it, it does look like can be better. Now it looks good. Let me rename this just eyebrows. You see my armature I'm already using certain layers that might not be very well combined with so I'm gonna just make some adjustments here if I remember well those four and this one will be used. This was, was wrongly moved let's get it back to the fifth Yes, that's it. Okay, so are they parented correctly? Yes, connected. Now what we need is to go on pose mode and transform this, this first one, in the rig type. 
tentacle yes limbs spline tentacle okay so now we need uh, this extra stars control one extra end controls one middle one two three three middle then we don't need F key controls for our eyebrow rig. I don't know why would need that. And this we'll leave it as it is. Okay, so let's generate rig. Let's see what will happen. So it was very fast. And here, if I check the armatures that were generated uh, that I have now, this is the original one. So this should be the meta rig and this is the generated rig so let's see the generated rig is only this here we go it's separated so i'll have to join it back to the main rig or vice versa but if i go on pose mode what i can see is that the splines are already making very large deformations and you see that's why I don't like to have too much control points for this uh, relatively low poly character it's like too much some ones are very interesting like this like yes okay so this is working very nice with very little effort uh, thanks to the Rigify add-on and its collaborators of feature sets and anyone that is involved in Blender with Rigify add-on creating content for it. Okay, so I have forgot this step, so just to make sure there is no mistake, because this was supposed to work for both sides, right? So here we gonna the this naming this naming is already under conventions, so I just need to symmetrize these bones then actually here let's see if this was symmetrized also yes this so this will be two tentacles uh, well actually two eyebrows rig for each side so if I reg if I generate rig from this this should create the two sides yes how beautiful is it it's really fantastic i could create this for many other features of the face i could just regenerate the meta rig to have those adjustments corrections that i wanted from the rig type options also dissolve or delete one bone but now I must address the joining of the armature objects so my strategy will be to try to to join the generated rig to the armature rig the problem is that if I do this now those bones from the meta rig they will be stacked on here I should delete them but actually I want to move them somewhere else like they are backup right here I select this armature object then shift select this one and control G so now of course as we may expect already the curve the rig has broken but at least all the rest for the the main rig was not compromised this is much easier to fix but it's also tricky because the problem now is the curve object and if we go there it doesn't appear but actually it is somewhere like it's somewhere in the void <laughs> it's it's uh, look at those things very strange thing okay 